I got a tip of the day for all of you. Standing in front of this absolutely beautiful palm tree. Look at that bad boy. Woo! Ah, woo ah. Love it. Just decided to take a walk, taking some of Ron Williams' advice today, taking some deep breaths. Why? Air is free. Fresh air makes you healthy. Walking is incredible for you. So, just getting some healthy stuff, part of a company euphoria. We're, we're supposed to be healthy people, guys. Walk the walk, literally, talk the talk. But here's your tip for the day. If you're like me, you have a sense of urgency, you have a burning desire, you know why you're doing the business, you have a definite major purpose. Man, I love rambling through that basic strategy session with people to get them to think about their definite major purpose, their why, why they're doing the business, their goals, their plan and action and how to do the business. And here's the system and three-way calls and edification. And God, there's a lot of things you need to know about this business, isn't there? Not really. You learn them while you earn. But the tip for today is urgency. You know, the organization is growing. People are building. People getting involved from all different states, countries, different countries are finding out about this now. It's exciting, but there's a sense of urgency to build this business. And for me, there's nobody more urgent than me in this whole company. Nobody. I live my life like I'm packing for a trip and I have to be at the airport in 10 minutes and I only live, and I live 15 minutes from the airport. So needless to say, urgent, do it now. But with that being said, you guys, when you're building your business, you have to quickly recognize who you should be spending your time with. And that not only includes your business partners, but also includes your prospects and the people that you're gonna to introduce to the business. The reason why sharing that three minute video is a really good pre-qualification is you find out really, really quickly, quickly whether or not someone is interested in DNA nutrition or if they get it. I like to believe there's two types of people. The type of person who gets it, the type of person who doesn't get it. And I think you know pretty quickly when you're sitting with someone, you meet with someone, whether or not they get it. Last night, we had a beautiful meeting at the office, straight ahead of me. And uh, we had about a half dozen or more guests in the room, and they were incredible. I mean, every single one of them, incredible. Spent some time with them after the meeting, and a bunch of them signed up after me. It was just an incredible, incredible meeting. But the lesson for the day is one word, next. Next. Who's next? Someone's complaining. Someone's not the right person. Wrong energy. They want to argue with you or they, you feel like they really just want to hammer you on why this isn't what you think it is. Just flat out say, you know what? This probably isn't right for you. And do it with a smile and be nice. You know, in my earlier years in the profession, when I was learning how to work with people, how to talk to people, I used to get mad when people didn't see it the way I did. You ever get mad? You ever argue with people? Man, my days of arguing with people over things, they're over. I'm glad to be 44 years old. I'm glad to be wiser than I was in my 20s, my 30s. There's something to be said for experience and wisdom. It really does change you. But today, I'm more effective than ever because I just don't waste time with the wrong people. I don't spend time with people that don't get it or don't want to get it. And it's flat out recognized really quickly. And when it comes to my business partners, if you're one of my partners, I want you to just trust me that I know what I'm doing here and I know how to help you build your business. A lot of time you get on the phone and we're having a little conversation about this one and that one. I gotta ask a favor, we gotta minimize the stories. Because when I get off the phone sometimes, I see I spent seven minutes, 10 minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes, and we weren't to the point, we weren't talking about what we need to talk about. So. I just want you to know that it's nothing personal and it's not like I don't want to talk to you. It's not like I don't want to hear certain things, but when I'm in this mode and when you get to the mode I'm in right now, you got to be efficient, you got to be effective, you got to be urgent, you got to get to the point and you got to go. Now, when we get on the phone with one of your prospects, one of your friends, one of your guests, that's when I like to slow it down and get to know them. I don't need to get to know them before the call unless there's something vital you think I need to know. I need to get to know them during the call. That's when I slow it down, and that's when I'm a good listener, and that's when I really get to know that person. And as you guys know, the spice of life, the spice of life is meeting new people. 
Variety is the spice of life. New people is the spice of life. I met a gentleman last night, couple gentlemen last night, unbelievable, couple ladies last night, unbelievable. Spice of life. So, lesson for the day, stop wasting your time with the wrong people and recognize real quick when it's time to say next, next, not next, next. Just move on to the next person. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Go. SW, 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 SW. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Next.